Hey Brick fans, this is Dave from Brick101, and today I'm going to show you how to build the Wither Storm from Minecraft Story Mode. So I have received over 4,600 votes for the Wither Storm, making it the most requested build I've done so far. Uh, the Wither Storm is a giant monster. It towers over cities, uh, so I decided to build this at micro scale because building a minifigure sized Wither Storm would have made it massive. Um, so you can see I've got a tiny little Steve and Alex uh, built at tiny scale to kind of show you the size of this Wither Storm. The Wither Storm was designed by Mark Larson. He is a familiar name to those of you who have been paying attention to how to build recently. He's been helping out with a lot of designs recently, uh, and this is another great design from Mark. And to drive home just how gigantic the Wither Storm is, here is it compared to the size of a Ghast and the Ender Dragon, also at the tiny scale. So the Wither Storm is really massive beyond the size of any regular Minecraft mob. Um, so again, just to drive home that this thing is enormous and that's why micro scale was really the only option for this. And one of the coolest features about this model is that we actually put in wires and lights so that the eyes could all light up. Um, that's definitely key to the look of the Wither Storm is those glowing purple eyes that kind of suck things up. Um, so uh, yeah, so we've got lights in behind the purple eyes and a hidden battery box to power them. You'll see how all of that works as we go through the build, uh, but just wanted to show off how cool the eyes look. So we're going to start from the very bottom of the Wither Storm and build our way up, starting with a one by one brick in black. Pretty much everything's going to be black, so I'm going to stop saying the color. Um, then two one by two plates and another one by one brick. This is not going to be a stable thing for it to stand on, um, so we'll build a support system later. Get a jumper plate that uh, you can center a brick in. Actually, it doesn't matter. Just get a jumper plate, one by two. Put the one by one brick there. Then center that in a two by two plate. Then a two by three, some one by two jumpers. and then a one by two plate, then a two by th three plate there, and a jumper next to that. Next layer, you can use a three by three plate if you have it, but uh, I just had to use a two by three and a one by three, and you're gonna center all of that on the bottom of a four by four plate. Building up the next section, we'll start with a four by four plate. Do some one by four bricks along the sides, some one by one with studs on the front, two of those, and a corner brick. Next level, do a one by four brick across that, one by one back here, two by two and a one by two. Uh, this clear one by two will hang out over there. Two one by four plates across the front, and for this layer, a one by one brick plus three one by one bricks with stud on the front. And then up here, we'll do a layer of plate, one by three, two by two, and then, oops, do a one by three plus a two by three, or a three by three if you've got it. We can get that brick to cooperate. So that goes back in there. The clear brick can hang out there. And then uh, another layer of plate, one by two, one by three, one by two, then a two by three, a corner plate, and a two by three. All of this can now connect here, that four by four connects to the other four by four. And uh, got it like so. Now, in order to support the Wither Storm to actually stand up, you're going to want to build a nice tower of clear bricks. 
This is six bricks tall and is two by two wide. So this is a bunch of one by twos. You could also use some of these one by two by fives if you've got them. Put those in place. Secure them with some more one by twos at the bottom. And then at the very bottom, a layer of plate. So some more one by two plates down there. And that should equal out exactly the height that uh, it is already there. Um, the only problem about this is that uh, as we build it up, this will not necessarily be sufficient to hold it. So I like to connect it to a base plate even. Um, the only problem with connecting it to a base plate is that this one by one brick is gonna wanna be centered in between four studs, which you can't do. Uh, but you can switch it to a cylinder brick if you want to keep that placement or just adjust the placement of uh, the jumper plate here. Maybe replace that with a 1x2 and move it off uh, center so it would line up with a normal stud. Uh, but this will now be a base you can build off of. And obviously most of you won't have this transparent base plate because this is a super rare part from like a decade ago, uh, but you know, whatever kind of ground you're building your wither storm above, green could work for the base plate. Take a 2x4 and a 1x4 plate, connect them with a 2x3 plate, then do 1x2 tile, 1x2 plate, and a 1x2 tile. Like so, next level up, we'll do a 1x3 plate, then a one by one tile and top it off with some one by two tiles and a one by three tile. And if you don't have one by three, one by two plus one by one can work there nicely. Next, get some two by eight plates, put two of those together, then put some one by ones with studs on the side over here and a two by six brick and then one by ones with studs on the side over there. Then another two by eight plate and two by eight plate. And some more one by ones with studs on the side, on both sides. And randomly just a one by two brick here for some reason. Uh, now over here, take a two by four, do a two by two tile and a two by two plate and then a two by two tile. And that snaps onto the side with all those nice uh, sideways bricks. And then a two by four plate over here, two by two, one by one. Fill out this area with tile, corner tile if you've got it, otherwise one by two and one by one. And on top of that, one by two and one by three. And then that fits nicely on there. And you can take this sub-assembly and place it on here. So you want to, I think it goes right there. Okay, for the next level, get a one by eight brick, and that's gonna go in the back here. Like so, oh, no, like so. Then some two by fours. lined up like that and then these will be offset by one brick so they lean out the back a little bit and then on the front take one of these uh, brick to ball joint connectors in black if you've got it then a one by eight brick there some two by fours or a two by eight in front of that and a one by two tile will just hang out on that for right now. Okay, so now let's build some plate. I'm gonna do a one by eight across the front here. And then some two by fours, whoop, one there, and then one spaced over a little bit. So there's a awkward one by two gap there. Then we'll put a one by two tile here and a one by two tile here. And then we're gonna build some brick, two by fours here, hanging off the edge, one that way, and back those up with some one by fours. Like so, I think. I think? 
Now in the back, take a four by eight plate, cross that whole wide area there, and then a one by eight and a one by four. If you're wondering why I'm taking such small, short steps, it's because I can only keep so much in my short-term memory before I totally forget what the next step is. Now a layer of brick. We'll do a one by two and a two by two. Then our friendly brick to ball joint. Again, black if you've got it, but gray is pretty okay. One by six brick, covering up some of that gray. And then a two by three hanging out like that, and a two by three like that. See how it kind of lines up with our fun sideways facing piece from earlier? Kind of got a tornado shape going here. Watch out, Dorothy! Gee, Godzilla, I wish someone would put me on Lego Ideas. Unfortunately, Weather Storm, only projects from IPs that LEGO has not already licensed are eligible for LEGO ideas. Since there is already a LEGO Minecraft line, you are ineligible. Yeah, but like, does story mode count? Also, what's with your voice? I don't know, what's with your voice? Good point. Well... I'm sad that I can't be on LEGO Ideas, but at least now people in the comments will know and not leave comments asking to put me on LEGO Ideas. Right, commenters? I highly doubt that. Okay, before we get any further with the brick building, I need to talk about lights. So the lighting system that I used for the Wither Storm is from Life Lights. It is the E-Light Basic Kit, which costs $20 in the United States, contains a battery box, which has an on and off switch, and takes AA batteries. Uh, that connects to this little thing where you can plug in different lights. And while the kit comes with eight lights, I only need three for the three eyes. Um, so each of those is a little LED that can be threaded through Lego Technic bricks. Um, so they're plugged in there. Uh, so this is kind of the basic setup you'll need for the Wither Storm lighting up the three eyes. Um, so there's a link in the description where you can buy this from Life Lights, or if you have a similar kind of lighting system with uh, lights on little wires, as long as you can uh, fit a nice little battery box and uh, three lights with wires into the center cavity of the Wither Storm, uh, you can make something else work. Um, but yeah, if this is the point in the build where we're going to start using this. Um, so get this out now if you're going to be lighting up the eyes. Okay, let's zoom in on these layers here so you can see what's going on a little bit better. So uh, next we're going to do two plate layers all around the top. So we'll do a two by two, two by three, being careful of all these wires. Uh, over here, one by three and a one by eight. And then a one by four and a one by three, or a one by six and a one by one if you run out of one by threes like I did. Along the back, we'll do a two by six, which hangs over just a little bit over here. Tilts all the wire stuff the other way, so we've got a clear path to go. One by one over here, two by six plus a two by three. And then building on top of this, some one by fours and a one by one to fill in that little spot. Uh, another layer of tile here, sorry, plates. Two by eight plate across the front here. Careful not to catch the wires, like I keep doing. Uh, one by one here, and a big old four by four here. One by three, hanging over a little bit. Two by two. One by eight across the back. One by four and a one by three. 
move all the wires, and then a 2x4 and a 2x3. Now, if like me, you're dealing with a battery box and a uh, connection piece that keep wiggling around, you can pretty safely attach the connection piece on that 2x4 spot, leaning back a little bit. That'll keep the battery box just wiggling around there and not falling all over the place. Um, and this will all work out with what builds above. Okay, so I put in some orange bricks here, uh, orange 1x6 for that black 1x6, and an orange 1x1 just to fill that empty spot. On top of the ball joint, you're gonna take a 2x2 plate, and then two 2x3 two plates stacked on top of each other, and make a little overhang. And that's where the bricks are gonna go above that, so we'll do a 2x4 that's lined up with the front of that overhang. Okay, then going towards the back, we'll do a two by two hanging out over the edge. Then a one by two Technic brick. Go ahead and thread the second LED through, and that lines up with the edge uh, of the lower level, not the current level. Then a two by three out over the edge a little bit and a one by four comes from the orange to the wider edge. Back here, we're gonna take another ball joint grabber piece, uh, black if you've got it, because this is super visible. And that goes here. Then we're gonna take a two by two ball joint grabbing piece, uh, black if you've got it, because it's super visible, and that's gonna line up right here, then a two by six brick, which lines up back here. Moving towards the front, we've got a one by four brick, a one by four brick, then we're gonna have a two by two brick, and a two by two ball joint grabber next to that. Then we'll do a two by four, nope, sorry. Then we'll do a one by four and a two by four offset a little bit from that. Then we're gonna take a one by one Technic brick, thread our last LED through there and uh, connect that right down there and then a two by four brick, uh, like so. All right, so actually I was wrong. Move this two by four back and these two by fours back. I don't know what I was talking about before, but I think this stays like that. Let's hope. All right, here's what I really messed up. Take this whole thing and move it back one stud so that this ball joint is barely sticking out. Uh, it will be enough that you can connect something to it, but uh, that's what I messed up in building these last two layers. So apologies, but shouldn't be too hard to fix. Okay, so I have once again foolishly put this too far forward. So move that back, nudge. Okay, now on top of that, we'll do a two by two plate with two two by threes on top. So that has a little bit of an overhang. Next to that, we will do a two by four brick and a one by eight brick across the front here. A two by four just totally collapsed inward, but that's okay, we shall fix it. Uh, one by eight all the way down along here. Then, Maneuver those wires away for a second. One by three on top of that other one by three. Two by two on top of that. Seems oddly unnecessarily precarious, but oh well. Uh, one by six all the way back. Then a one by two plus a two by two. Uh, then in the back we shall do a uh, two by four, which hangs out over the back a little bit. A two by four that hangs out even further over the back. Then 
On the other side, one that hangs out less far, and the same far, and then another 2x4, uh, one step back, and then this one is like two full steps back, and then a 2x2 two two here, like so, I think it goes. Uh, also, this is just like a giant cloud, so it's not super important that you put all of these the exact same way that I did, or that I did in the past, talking to myself there. Okay, let's do a sub-assembly. Uh, start off with an 8x8 plate and two 2x6s. Connect those with two more 2x6s. And then a 4x6 and a 4x4, or a nice big 4x10, if you've got it and it's not covered in dust like mine was. Dust. Then centering a 6x6 some 1x4s, and then a 1x6 tile across there, leaving two empty spots. And let's put a 2x4 brick on the top. Take that whole thing and line it up with this front corner here. So it looks like that, and you've got just enough room for the battery box's wires to fly in the air over there. And carefully push it all down together nicely. This is definitely a tricky one to get on nice and firmly. Okay, now you're going to take a 2x6 brick and then put a 1x2 plate and a 1x2 tile on it. And this will line up over here. Uh, lining up with the corner of that 1x6 tile here, so you've got that plate next to the tile. And over here you'll take another 2x6 brick, cover it with some 1x6 tiles that hang off on one side, and a 1x2 plate on the other side. That will line up on the other side with the uh, tile there. So you've got a nice tile surface with a couple studs there. Now let's do this all brick sub-assembly. So down here we've got 2x4 and 2x3. Then some 2x4s like that. Then I ran out of 2x3, so a 2x4, a 1x2, and a 2x2. Connect all of it. Next layer with some 2x6 bricks. Going nice across the whole thing there. And remembering to have this one stick out just a little bit should have it nicely together like so. And then some 2x4s in the opposite direction. Um, so it's almost like a pyramid shape, but there's some pieces missing down there. Um, so now that whole thing fits nicely on this tiled area, uh, just connecting to those two stud points um, and shouldn't have any problems with the wires below. Um, so that's just a nice easy way you can pop that on and off to access the battery box. So this is what it should look like right now. If you were following those instructions carefully, you should have a big kind of black tornado cloud shape um, with a bunch of ball joint connections, some LED life lights hanging out uh, on their wires, and look, it's the wither storm, done! Just kidding. Uh, we've got a few more steps to go. Heads and tentacles. Okay, now let's start building the heads of the wither storm. So you're gonna build three heads that are identical. So everything you're seeing here, do three times. So starting on the bottom, I'm gonna do one by two plate with two clips and a one by one plate with a clip. If there was a one by three plate with three clips, that would be perfect. Um, offset on top of that, a 2x2 two two upward slope and a 1x2 upward slope so that they all connect nicely and overlap. You know what I mean, overlapping for the win. Next level up, we are going to do a Technic brick, 1x1 one one at the very back. This is where the wire will come in. Then a 1x2 plate and a 1x2 plate next to that. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit, do some 1x6 plates stacked too tall 
that is going to go all the way across like so. And then underneath that we're going to build a 2x3 plate and a 1x1 plate. And in the center here we're going to take an Erling brick. It is important that it's an Erling brick. And put that backside down. Get the good angle on that so that the little edge is sticking up and it is uh, kind of even with the two level of plate that's right next to it. Uh, do another stack of two one by six plates there and put some one by one plate there. We have a one by one tile that will go right in the middle there, but first we need to decide on teeth. So I think the best look for the teeth, if you can get them, are these one by two white plates with the click hinge on the end. You're gonna need 18 of them to do all the teeth for all the head the same. Um, I did not have enough of that, so I mixed and matched. Uh, another one you could do is the one by two plate with handle on the end. I do have enough of these, so I'll do them all in that style. Um, another way you could do this is doing it as some um, plates with clips on them. You could line them up like that and do a one by three plate behind that. But anyway, I am doing the one by two plates with handle. So that lines up on the two by three and one by one. Then this one, I'm gonna put this one by one tile on and put that in the middle. And this one goes here. So that is now kind of the upper jaw and the bottom of the upper head. Okay, now let's build the inside of the eyes. Take some clear plates, a one by two and a one by one, and then a one by one black brick and a one by one transparent purple brick, and then a one by one black tile. Now all of that is going to fit on to the front of that Erling brick like that. And uh, you can also put this Technic brick of any color here. That will hold the light LED in place. Um, now, if you don't have these one by one transparent purple bricks, you can do what I did here. This is using a one by two purple transparent brick, though really this could just be clear at this point since only the dot up here, one by one round that I'm using in purple, will technically show, but you can see a little bit of the purple. Um, so that's just on a one by two clear with that one by one black tile. So that would fit into the same slot here. Uh, and it's just gonna have a circular eye instead of a square, perfect square. But um, yeah, depending on the pieces you have, you might not be able to do it exactly this way. So this is a good time to thread the wire. Um, so you wanna thread it through this brick down here it's easy to detach it, then thread it through that brick up there. Uh, you could put a half Technic pin in there if you want to really uh, stabilize the LED in place. I didn't think that was necessary though. Uh, then you want to just make sure the wire has enough uh, room here to just fit into this slot nicely. Um, so if you want to go ahead and do that for your wires uh, before continuing to build for all three heads. Now is the time to do that, um, but you can also thread these at the end. Um, you'll just have to unbuild it a little bit. So I'm actually gonna take that out and build the rest, but I just wanted to say this is the easiest time to wire if you wanna wire now. Okay, now we're gonna get a ball joint connector. Again, uh, I ran out of black, so dark gray. Along the side, one by one bricks with stud on one side. Three of those, one, two, three. Then a one by one brick. On the opposite side, a one by one brick, a one by four with studs on the side, and a one by one brick. Now, uh, across the top here, get some two by three plates, layer it with a two by two jumper and a one by two tile. Make two of those, have one of them go this way and the other one go the opposite direction. Then on top of that, if you've got a two by three tile, 
uh, line that up on those jumpers. Otherwise, you'll have to use a 2x2 two two and a 1x2, and there will be some wiggle room. Back here, 2x3 two is perfect. If not, a 2x2 two two and a 1x2. On the side, a 2x4 is perfect if you've got it. If not, line up some 2x2s. Two so that is all the head aside from the lower jaw. For the lower jaw, uh, I'm going to use 1x2 plate with handle, each kind of those in black. You could do three of them uh, if you've got some 1x3 tiles or 2x3 tile, but since I didn't here, I'm using a 2x2 to connect all of these and a 1x2. Uh, and then your teeth piece, whatever it is, all the way along here. And then this connects into those handle clips there. And the teeth line up nicely for chomping. Rah, chomp, 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 chomp. So just for comparison quickly, on this lower jaw, you can see these are all one by two long handles. Uh, and they're all connected with a two by three tile. Blarg. Okay, now if you have wires and you didn't pre-wire, then you're going to want to pull off the tops of their heads. So those uh, nice 2 by 3 plates on top and uh, that tile on the back. Take off the ball joint connector. Now you should be able to get to those Technic bricks and slide the wire in and then reconstruct all of that, which, depending on how much you pulled it apart, will be fast or not so fast. And then as you connect it, you're gonna take all the slack wire and push it back in this hole until you're close enough to connect the ball joint and just have a little bit of slack on the back. Then connect the ball joint. Make sure it doesn't fall over because it's now side heavy. Come on, Weatherstorm, work with me. Uh, and you can open the mouth. All right, now repeat that for the other two heads. Uh, super speed this. Three, two, one. So at this point, you should have the heads attached and you should be able to, if you've wired it, turn on the battery box and get those awesome glowing purple eyes uh, in all three heads, uh, which just looks really great and awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm super pleased with this. This is really, I think, one of the only mocks I've ever made with a light up feature uh, on this channel. So. Um, Thanks to Mark for thinking ahead and putting those wiring holes in there. Uh, now that you've got three heads, you can have them all argue over what to eat for dinner. I think we should have pork chops. I think we should have pasta. I think we should have melons. Uh, I can't have pork chops because I'm a vegetarian. And I can't have pasta because I'm gluten free. And I can't have watermelons because I'm allergic to watermelon. Is that even a real allergy? I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now it's tentacle time. So you're going to build five of these tentacles. Identical tentacles. Identical tentacle. Tent identical? Identical tentacles. All right, start with some click hinges. So this is a click hinge grabber to an axle connection. Then you're gonna want a grabber to an insert, two of those. And then you're gonna switch to click hinge bricks. So one of these one by twos with both a grabber and an insert. And you'll do three of those in a row. And then on the other end, you'll do an insert to a Technic pin connection. Uh, I had a bunch of different black 
click hinge tentacles from various sets, so hopefully you've got a variety of black click hinge pieces. Uh, if you don't have these exact pieces, use other black hinge pieces, be they clicky or not clicky. You could do bar and clip connections here. You just want to give yourself a variety of ways to position this. Um, for the very end, I've got a black small tooth or claw piece. Um, you could also use one of these longer tentacle pieces uh, and maybe get rid of some of those click hinges. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, then I'm gonna take a one by two to two by two bracket in black, cover that with a two by two plate, do two of those and put one here and one going the other way here. And underneath each of them, a one by two plate. That just kind of makes these look more like square things from Minecraft cubes. Um, you know, this does get a little, you know, not cubic and square towards the end. It's all curvy wurvy, but uh, still wanted to give it a little bit of the Minecraft flair there. Okay, now the upper part of the tentacle is a little crazy, uses a lot of brackets, but what can I say? I had a lot of black brackets and I decided I'd use them all on the tentacles. All right, start with a two by four plate down there. Then, I'm gonna get one of these click hinge grabbers in black that's both connections. Some of these exist in dark gray that are only one uh, way. That would actually be nicer, but um, uh, I wanted them to be black, and I think they're only this style in black. Uh, on the other side, you're going to have a ball joint uh, in dark gray. Now you're going to want to surround each of those um, with brackets. I'm going to show you three ways you could do that. One is the all one way way, where we'll put a two by two plate on the bottom, and then we'll do these one by two to two by two downward brackets on the side. That's pretty easy because these brackets are pretty common. Uh, a more complicated way would be from both directions. So let's say we're going to do this one. We'd have a 1x2 to 1x2 downward bracket and a 1x2 to 1x2 upward bracket. And we do that on each side, perfectly kind of going around the edge of this piece. Um, but if you don't have all of those, because those brackets are a little more rare, you could also do something like this and do a one in each direction. So you could do a one by two upward bracket and a one by two downward bracket, and then fill in the tops and bottoms with one by two plates. Uh, I ended up having enough to do a bunch of them this way, so that worked out nicely for me. Uh, then you're going to connect these to this 2x4 plate here, and then a 2x4 plate on top, and 2x4 plates on each side, so it gets all covered up what's going on in the middle there. Um, and I think that looks pretty cool. And then you can connect the lower part of the tentacle in here. Bloop. And uh, you've got a nice big long tentacle and now you build five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now comes the final step attaching all the tentacles to the five spots around the body where we left those ball joint connectors. So we've got this one up in the front, which I made black since it's the most visible of them from the front. I'm gonna bend the tentacle down like that. Um, note, you can twist the tentacle this way, as well as clicking at a lot of click points. And then of course you've got the ball joint. So there's a lot of flexibility, posability on the tentacles. Uh, over here, we'll do this one pointing down. So we've got kind of two tentacles holding up the wither storm, uh, one on each side. That way it's not just those tiny pieces there holding it up. In the back, do this one, kind of angry angled that way. This one, angled up. And this one, whoop, angled maybe out to the side that way. Whoosh, tentacles.
So I've been conserving battery power by turning off the eyes, uh, basically anytime I'm not showing how they look on, but now that we're all finished, definitely time to turn those eyes back on and get the full effect of this awesome Witherstorm custom build. Rawr, so awesome, gonna destroy everything. I love giant monsters like the Witherstorm. Oh no, Steve, now that the Witherstorm has been created, uh, it's definitely gonna kill us and stuff, you know, by eating up everything in its path. I don't know, Alex, maybe we'll survive. Maybe there'll be some other giant monster that will fight this giant monster. That's a really weird, specific plan. Yeah, I know, but I'm kind of leading towards something. Stomp, 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 Godzilla's here. I'll take on the Wither Storm. I mean, I'll take you out to lunch because we're monster friends. Let's smash the humans. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Don't forget to vote for Godzilla on Lego Ideas. I agree. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Brick 101, ring that notification bell, and check out all my other LEGO Minecraft videos.